Okay, y'all. So I got a message for you from higher self. Now, these messages, generally speaking, will give you a little background information of what's going on with your situation. But the messages from higher self is telling you what to do about the situation. Or your higher self is suggesting what you is is suggesting what you do. Because remember, you do whatever you want to do. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune. There's some serious change coming. Something is destined to happen. I feel like maybe something is getting better for someone. Hierophant reverse underneath that and the two of wands. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's a situation somebody has been dealing with that hasn't really been going anywhere. You haven't really had any plans. You haven't really made any decisions. You don't really know how to move on something. But the wheel of fortune tells me that something that is destined to happen, to change that is happening. And in a good way. And in a good way, I just feel like it's more so about going against tradition and not doing, not necessarily doing what you were taught to do, but doing what you know you're supposed to do. What sits right with your spirit, okay? Here, what's the first, what's the message? What's the underlying message here from higher, from message from higher self? The five of wands reverse. Yeah, no more conflict, no more competition, no more being confused, right? So to speak. And we have the temperance card reverse. Sagittarius energy, balance, um, patience. Somebody's been really impatient. That's what it feels like. Yeah, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. I told you. It's like somebody's about to change. It's, I feel like somebody hasn't been able to be successful with something, to be honest with you. And a lot of it has to do with lack of patience, okay? I feel like stop fighting yourself about this. Because that 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 Hierophant reverse at the bottom of the, of the bottom of the deck, which is Taurus energy, is telling me, like... You've been trying to do something traditionally, like working a nine to five, but trying to be a millionaire. Hush, wait. It's not going to happen, okay? Bottom of the deck, seven of swords, moving silence. Real G's moving silence. Queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the seven of pentacles reverse. Really stop and look at what you're doing, okay? I feel like maybe you're giving energy to the wrong places, the wrong people, the wrong situations, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're so caring. You're so kind. You're so nurturing. You're so, well, yes, that's Queen of Pentacles, but that, that's Queen of Pentacles energy with the nurturing. Queen of Cups is more like sensitive, kind, and, you know, things like that. But yes, you're so sensitive and you're so like, you know, intuitive, but you, you care about so many people. What about you? All right. Bottom of the deck, limitations and fears. See, you're setting limits on yourself with that Hierophant energy I saw there, trying to do something a traditional way. That's limiting you. It's limiting. So you clarify the five of wands. Forming structure and foundation. Oh, solid foundation. We're going to have to definitely go into a part two. You already know. Spark and renewal. See what I'm saying? Time to stop fighting yourself and build this foundation. Get it pumping. Get it jumping. Growth. Temptation. Wait a minute. Let's go to part two. 